The popular cult classic action film you can't really call a horror, more like the horrors people are capable of when you give them an excuse to exercise their demons once a year, returns for what may be the final film which you can't really call a trilogy either, because the first movie was its own sort of crazy. This film was honestly probably one of the worst of the three. But in sort of a it's so bad it's good kind of way, like the Tim Burton Batman films, at least that was the excuse I kept telling myself so I could survive through this movie. And if I haven't said it yet, huge spoiler warning, but you don't care, you know what you clicked on. Okay, so where do I start with this film? The bad storytelling, the extremely coincidental advances in technology like the tracer bullet in Grillo's shoulder? How about the schoolgirl who was obsessed with getting a candy bar? I honestly stood up and applauded when she was run over by Boqueño Muerte. Good luck getting your candy bar in hell. Bitch! Okay, so the ending explained. As a fan and simply a moviegoer, you have to remember our main protagonist is Senator Charlie Roan, played by Elizabeth Mitchell. And her only goal is to be elected president so she can abolish Purge Night. So in this case, if the moviegoers are rooting for her to win, you are also rooting for the Purge as well as the movies to end. And I don't want to see that happen. The Purge films have always been a mixed message. It likes to think it centers itself on the insane brutality of kills, and that's what the fans crave the most, while also trying to convince us that the Purge is actually a bad idea, since the main antagonist, the New Founding Fathers Association, have used it in an attempt to kill off the poor and homeless that many different state and federal programs fund just to keep them alive. It also centers around one or two particular families, with the Purge Night serving as an epic backdrop. And after this film, it's really unclear what direction director James DeMonaco will go with the franchise. It has been in talks that if a fourth Purge were to be created, the story would be that now Purge Night had become a global event rather than just in the United States. With murder tourism a huge part of Purge Night in the US, as explained in this film, it seems like a very likely next step. And you think Americans are fucked up? There are countries where Purge Night is every single day. There's your franchise saver right there, just show people around the world killing each other. So with now President Charlie Roan victorious, the last line in the film is a broadcast saying that the new founding fathers are reacting violently to the loss. So remember, no more Purge Night, no more money for the new founding fathers. You can turn on the TV anywhere and see a story about someone who went from wealthy to completely broke, and rather than just start from the bottom and get a job at Mickey D's or something, they just pull a professor from Futurama. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Pussies. So the new founding fathers are disbarred, President Roan is changing the country, and Purge Night in the US is no more. And it really is quite a shame to see this franchise chose this setting to seemingly end the franchise. There were definitely some pros to the film, but I'm just sad to see that they were more than likely be some sort of spin-off that won't live up to the expectation and the lore that is Purge Night. That's everything I have guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. Let me know if there's anything in the film that I missed, and what was your favorite scene in the film? Mine was the candy bar chick getting run over. What was your least favorite part of the film? Mine is when we find out it's freaking Nazis who are after Grillo and President Charlie. It's always the freaking Nazis. And if Purge Night does become international, what countries would you like to see take part in the Purge and why? I'll see you guys next time with videos like this and more. And as always, guys, this is Five Thingas with the Thing of Bang Show. I'm out. All crime, including murder, will be legal. For